All right, today what we're gonna do is we're going to take a factory wire harness for a Club Car DS IQ, and we're going to bypass the OBC circuit in the wire harness to allow the car to run and operate without the OBC. So after we do this and we ship this harness out, there will be no sign of this plug ever being there. And you just plug this directly into your controller and everything will work like it's supposed to. So if you have to do it yourself, this is how you do it. So you find the blue wire and the green wire with the white stripe right here on your main connector. You hold them down right here. Then you pull the white wire up from the OBC plug and you cut them all at the same length right here. Just like that. Then you pull the green and the blue out. You're not gonna use those. And then the other wires remaining in the OBC plug are the red, the brown, and the yellow. So what we do is we cut the red here, and then we cut the yellow a little bit further up where it can't touch the red. And then we cut the brown a little bit further up where they can't touch each other at all. We're gonna tape these up in just a minute and get them out of the way. So this is done, this is trash. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this, take this white wire right here, we're gonna splice into it right here, and then we're going to take this blue wire and do the same thing. And then we're gonna put this butt connector on it and crimp that down. Do both sides, do the white to the blue. This is what bypasses the OBC and makes the car work without the OBC in the car. You gotta provide power to pin five at this blue wire. That's what this white wire is gonna do. So instead of running to the OBC, it now runs directly to the controller and keeps the controller powered up. So because this customer is using a Navitas AC kit and a 400 amp solenoid, we're gonna go ahead and address these connectors on these three wires right here for them as well. This is different than, than just the OBC bypass. This is um, only, only if you're using a big 400 amp solenoid with the 3 8 studs and the um, small ring terminals instead of these blade terminals. So we're gonna cut these off. Strip these back. And put these small ones on these blue wires for the solenoid. This is for the solenoid coil. This is what turns the solenoid on and off. That blue wire with the white stripe, that's the negative. This light blue wire is the positive. And then this red one right here, we're going to put a larger ring terminal on it than the one that we took, than the one that we cut off. So it'll fit over that new stud on that solenoid. It's much bigger than the factory one. Okay, now we got all that done. We're going to take all four of these connections that we just made. We're going to heat these. Normally I use a heat gun, but I don't know where I put it. So I'm going to use this torch. Just stay far enough away from it where you don't melt anything. <laughs> If you look now, you'll see where that has shrunk down on the wire and completely sealed it from the elements. Nothing could get in there now, so it's good. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tape this up. All these exposed wires that we've got under here, they're all dead circuits now, so they're not going to do anything, but we still want to cover them up. So we'll pull these three wires down, we'll hold the harness right here and run a nice tight line of tape all the way around, all the way up towards the controller connector. Bury that green wire in there, get it out of the way. Oh. 
and that's what it looks like when you get it. No OBC plug anywhere in sight. So this harness will now work without the OBC.